Hey, Mom. I'm back. Happy Mother's Day. Aw. Thanks, Kevin. Did you have fun at your dad's? Yeah. We had so much fun. We went fishing. Uh, Kev, I gotta go. No, Dad, I don't want you to go. Sorry, buddy, but you know I can't stay. I'll, I'll see you next week. Uh, James, um, since it's Mother's Day, we're thinking about going to Disneyland. Would you want to go with us? Yeah, Dad, please. Can you go with us? Sorry, buddy, but I can't. Alice, um, we're not married anymore. Why would I want to spend Mother's Day with you? I know we're not married anymore. It's not about us. It's about our son. You're my ex-wife. I pay my child support. That's all you're going to get out of me, all right? I am definitely not spending Mother's Day with you. Oh, calm down. I'm just talking about being civil. For Kevin's sake. Whatever. I've got more important places I need to be. See you later, Kevin. You know what, Mom? I, I don't want to go anymore. Who is it? Hey, it's James. Door's open. Come on in. Eddie! James! <laughs> My man! <laughs> What's going on? What's good, man? Hey, I just dropped Kevin off at his mom's house, so I'm free. Let's go down and catch a game somewhere. I can't, bro. I'm cooking for Claire. Claire? Your ex-wife, Claire? I thought it would be nice to spend some time with her and my son for Mother's Day. Look, look did you guys forget that you had a divorce or something, man? Why would you do anything for her? I know that we're divorced, but you see... Hey, Eddie. We're here. Hey, James. Dad, I missed you. Hey, little man. I missed you, too. Claire, thanks for coming. I have a little something for you. Happy Mother's Day. Aw, that's so sweet. Hold that for me, honey. Thank you. Wow. <gasps> Disneyland tickets? OMG. <laughs> Sweetie, look what your dad got us. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow. <laughs> Are you coming with us? Of course, son. I know that it's yours and your mom's favorite place. I wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> really, Eddie. Thank you. I gotta go grab Luke's bag out of the car. Come on, Luke. Oh my God. Dude, come on, man. Look at you. What? What's the matter with you, man? She is your ex-wife. Why are you doing anything for her at all? I don't do all these things for her. I do it for my son. Your son? What are you talking about? I'm talking about my son growing up knowing how to treat women. You see, the reason I spend time with my ex-wife is because regardless of our differences, she is still my son's mother. And the way I treat her will impact the way he treats his own mom. And the reason I still do nice things for her, even though we aren't together, is because the way I treat his mom will also shape how he treats other women in his life going forward. So you see, I'm raising a young man who will someday grow up to be somebody's husband or somebody's father. And if I want him to be a good man, I need to be the kind of person that I want my child to be. Wow. I guess I never really looked at it that way. This is bigger than you, man. When you treat your ex-wife badly, ask yourself, am I setting the example for my own son? You're right. I can't believe what a bad example I've been setting for him. It's not too late. You're right. And thank you. Now there's something I've got to do. Come on, you got this, man. Come on, honey. You sure you don't want to go? No. 
Why should I go if Dad doesn't even want to go? Because it's Mother's Day, and I want to spend time with you. Hey guys, uh, door was open, so I just kind of figured yeah. I would. James, what are you doing back here? Hey, Alice, I'm just doing what I should have done a long time ago. Happy Mother's Day. Wow, these are beautiful. I can't remember the last time you got me flowers. You are such an amazing mom, so you deserve them. And I got you something else too. Mickey Mouse ears? Yeah, for all of us to wear at Disneyland. I'm coming with you guys. Wait, really? You're coming? Yes! But I thought you said- Listen. I am so sorry for earlier. I should have never treated you that way. You are still the mother of our son. And I realize the way I treat you is so important for what kind of man Kevin is going to be. Can you forgive me? Of course, James. I forgive you. So what do you say, son? Yeah, I'm so excited. Let's go. Well, what's your favorite ride? Space Mountain. Space Mountain. I love Space Mountain. But all we Rolls Royce. Should have been mine. Sweet ride. Always wanted one of those. Hey, if you don't mind me asking, what do you do for a living? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I actually own several cafes. Well, my mom and I own several cafes. Here. Take a card. We just opened up our 10th location. Wow. I see. You and your mom? Yep. Wait. Tara. Is that you? Oh. Ryan, it's been a while. Oh my god, so does this mean that he's my... Yes. He's your son. But I, I don't understand. How can you afford all this? How did this happen? Well, you see, I'll never forget the day I found out I was pregnant. Hey Tara, check out our new menu. Tara, you okay? Tara, is everything okay? What's wrong? What? Please tell me this is some kind of joke. No, Brian. I'm pregnant. No. You can't be. We can't afford to have a baby right now. Our cafe is just starting to take off. But maybe we can make it work. Being a mother is something I've always dreamed of. Well, what about my dreams? I've always wanted to be a millionaire and drive a Rolls Royce. How am I supposed to do that when I'm raising some baby? Please. getting any younger. I want to have this child. Look, it's either me and our business or this baby. I can do this cafe without you, so you choose. Tomorrow, we're going to the clinic. And then there was that day at the clinic. Who would have known that would be the last time I ever saw you? Hi, Tara. Are you ready? Yes, she's ready. Look, if you need more time to think about this, it's perfectly fine. It's a big decision. Um, yes, I, uh, 
I mean, I don't know. No, she doesn't need more time to think about it. Let's just get this over with. Tara, listen to me. You are the one carrying this baby. It is your decision. Look, you listen to me, and I'm not gonna say this again. It's either me and our business, or this baby. So what's it gonna be? You know what? You can keep your business. I have been struggling by your side, on your dream. And for how long? I'm keeping this baby. And I'm going to raise our child. And we're going to start our own business. <laughs> without you. Is that a joke? Fine. But if you don't want to be a part of my struggle, then don't try and be a part of my success. After you left, I was all by myself. It was one of the most difficult times I had ever been through. But somehow, when our baby was born, and I held him in my arms, I knew I made the right decision. And as he got older, we decided to start our own business, Mom and Son Cafe. And with us working as a team, it became more successful than we could have ever imagined. So you see, that's how it happened. Wow, I can't believe it. My son. You must be Brian. I've heard a lot about you. I'm so glad. And, and now you're all grown up. And you've become a businessman, just like your old man. Look, Tara. I was wrong about everything. I should have been there for you and our son. After you left, the, the cafe just went downhill. It wasn't the same without you. We could, we could start over, please. We could call it Dad, Mom, and Son Cafe. That's really not up to me. Son, it's your decision. Well, I was taught that if somebody isn't part of your struggle, then they shouldn't be part of your success. So I don't think so. Besides, I like Mom and Son Cafe. It has a nice ring to it. Here you go, sir. Here's your lunch. Are you kidding me? You call that lunch? Now, I cannot believe that me, a multi-millionaire, is sitting here in this dump eating this garbage food. What do I look like, a janitor? I'll try to get you better accommodation, sir. Yes. And why has nobody come to visit me? Tell everyone at the company I'm in the hospital. Okay, I know they're worried about me. They'll come to visit. Yes, sir. I'll tell everyone right away. Yes, you will. This room ain't so bad. I'm a CEO of a major company. I own a private jet and I live in a mansion. So I'm used to a little higher standards. What is it that you do? Well, ironically, <laughs> I'm a janitor. <laughs> well, there you go. This is probably high class for a janitor, huh? I'll tell you what, if we ever get out of this dump, I can teach you a thing or two about, uh, success. Sounds good. Babe. Hey, sweetie. I made your favorite meal to cheer you up. Oh, you should have. I miss you so much. I miss you too. I'll be right outside, okay? Okay. I love that woman. Is your wife coming to see you too? Uh, you mean ex-wife. Yeah, she'd probably rather have me dead than bring me food. 
we were getting a divorce, I got the best lawyer, and she did not get one dime. <laughs> not a penny. Uh, Hi, yes. Daddy, Daddy, look what I drew. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. Oh. Hope you feel better. Love you. Bye. Bye. It's cute. Yes, sir. What about you? Do you have any children? <laughs> um, my daughter doesn't talk to me anymore. She thinks I was too busy while she was growing up to take care of her because I was building my company. Who needs a daughter anyway when you have as many cars as I have? <laughs> hey, Carlos. Hey, boss. What you got there? All of us at work heard what happened and we wanted to give you these. Looks like you already have so many flowers, I don't even know where to put these. You give them to me. I'll hold on to them. Listen, I'm going to come back and see you later. All of us at the office are praying for you. You've got a lot of love. So, get better. Thank you. Man, I've got the best boss in the world. He always helps me. I bet you have a lot of employees you help out too, huh? Yeah, so only a janitor would say something like that. You don't make the kind of profits I do by helping people. Hello, sir. I um, told everyone at the office you're in the hospital. Well, are they coming? I'm sorry, sir. I don't think so. After the last round of layoffs, everyone's still pretty upset. Are you kidding me? Nobody's coming to see me. I called everyone, but they all said that they don't want to see you. I'm sorry, but I'll see you tomorrow. I may not have a big house. I may not have a private jet or lots of money. One thing I do have, though, is I have a lot of love around me. Great news. Hey. We're taking you home. Really? Yes. What? Yay, Daddy's coming home. Yay! Everyone's coming to your house to celebrate. Really? And the whole company's coming to see you. Does this mean I get my new promotion? What? <laughs> <laughs>
my makeup looks awful and I look so fat in this dress and my skin is breaking out. What are you talking about? You look so beautiful. No, I don't, Mom. I'm sorry, but I'm not going. Honey. she would say those things about herself. Really? I mean, where do you think she got that from? Hmm? What do you mean? She talks that way about herself because that's the way you talk about yourself. And she got it from you. speaking badly about myself would rub off on her. Oh, I've got to go talk to her. You know all those things you said about yourself? Well, they weren't true. What do you mean? You say that sort of stuff about yourself all the time. I know. <laughs> to be honest, I never should have said any of those things. I had no idea how my insecurities would have an impact on you. glowing. I have lost some weight. I am beautiful. Just like you. You really think so? Oh, oh, I know so. <laughs> that bride better watch out because all eyes are going to be on you. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. I guess you're right. I do look pretty. Yes, you do. We can all do like a TikTok video together. You're way too old to be doing TikTok. Okay. You know, my dream was oh, always to dance. What are you trying to do? Make us his followers? I was just trying to. Embarrass me. Just leave. <laughs>